Well, hey folks, this is John with Ozarks Back Roads with you today. Uh, we're out in the woods on a beautiful spring day today. I wanted to get out. Uh, I've got a, a new location here in the Ozarks that I've not been to before. We're going to check out a couple of them. But we've got a big spring. Uh, it's called Blue Spring. It's down in the uh, eastern part of the Ozarks, I would say, southeastern part. And uh, we're going to check that out. It's a, it's a beautiful spring. Um, really deep blue it's 300 feet deep and i believe it's the eighth largest spring in missouri by volume so it's a pretty substantial spring we're out on the mighty uh, tiger 800 here today so we're deep in the government woods we're going to check out a smaller spring right now it's a powder mill and i believe there's a spring there that used to feed the mill so if we can find it, I've, I've been to this one before and wasn't able to find the spring. We'll see if we can find it today. I invite you to stick around. We're going to go for a ride in the Ozarks along the Current River. Check out a couple of springs. Let's go do it. So we'll see if we can find Powder Spring over here somewhere. And uh, see what it looks like. Wonder how slick this is going to be. Ooh. Yeah, that's Powder Creek there. Oh, I see a trail there. See what this sign says right here. Caves in National Park Riverways are closed. You can't go in the caves. You are here. So that's the little creek we crossed. But I'm not seeing any watercress anywhere. That would let me know there's a spring around. We'll go on down just a little bit. We'll go on down the trail towards the campground. I believe they've got a campground down here. Pretty sweet little spot right here. I bet this gets to rolling when the when it gets to raining good. I've looked for this uh, spring before and I've never found it. <laughs> so that may be it right there. I'm going to look real quick. So there is a spring here. You can see all the water crests right up here. So this is Powder Spring right here coming out of the bank. You can see all the water crests around that. It's just kind of welling up out of the ground right there, feeding into this little creek. Okay, pretty small. But you can tell by the amount of watercress, it pretty much flows all the time. And it looks like it's flowing out into the creek, kind of heading upstream. And then coming back around in the creek here, I can see some outflow up there too. All right, well, we found Powder Spring. Here's a... A little morel mushroom growing here. We'll run down here and look at the campground real quick. And then we'll head over to Blue Spring where the big spring's at. Looks like they got a bathroom here. It says there's a campground here. Okay, yep, there it is. See what it says, $5 a night. Six people or two tents per site. 
or one RV in one tent or two vehicles. Find a vacant spot, fill out the deal, put your $5 in there, put it in the little uh, lock box right here, and you're good to go. $5 camping. It's actually a pretty nice little campground. You got it graveled up, got picnic tables, place to hang your lamp. Not bad at all. Right on the current river right here. And here is the river. We've had a little bit of rain. The river's looking pretty good right now. Whoo, that's a big river. This little puppy is happy to see me. I don't have any food for you, buddy. The last dog got it all. Nice overlook here on this campground over the river. This is really pretty. That is pretty nice. All right, well, we found the spring and the campground. We're on a roll today. I didn't see a mill site. This is supposed to be powder mill. So apparently there, there might have been an old mill back in here somewhere, but I didn't see any, any signage or anything that mentioned it. Okay, we've made it to the Blue Springs, uh, the road to Blue Springs. Looks like a uh, ranger here, park ranger. All right, Blue Springs Trailhead, it says. I believe it's about two or three, two and a half miles or so down here, according to the sign. Uh, beautiful dogwood right there out over the road. That's just perfect. Like a little dry creek right here. Oh, look at this, this old bluff here. That is just pretty cool. Trees growing up out of it, halfway up the bluff. Tell you what, if a tree can get a root and a crack, it'll grow. It don't matter if it's on the face of a bluff or wherever. It's amazing where a tree will grow. Big spring trailhead. Looks like the spring is down that way. We're gonna take a walk, Blue Spring, check it out. Here's our uh, signboard for the spring. This Blue Spring is uh, 310 feet deep, it says. Our trail is running right along the uh, current river here on the bank. Run down the river a little ways. Pretty nice spot right here, the river's really big here. Looks like I'm entering a natural area here. I'm sure that comes with some rules and regulations. Beautiful shot down the river right here. Here's our little sign on the spring telling us it's the eighth largest and uh, looks like it flows 87 million gallons a day on average. So that's a, that's a lot of gallons. All right, we're getting close now. They've constructed a nice uh, bridge over a little stream here so you don't have to get your feet wet. Well, that's pretty sweet. So here is the blue spring right here. Pretty deep hole of water. Sits under a really nice bluff. We can go to the top. There's a lookout point up there. Should be pretty sweet. A lot of that's in the shade, but pretty neat. There's a little viewing platform down on the back side of the spring pool down there we were at earlier we're up on top of the bluff at another overlook looks out over the spring and the river or the creek 
So that's a pretty nice spring. Well, that was pretty cool. <sighs> Got that thing laid over and killed it right when it needed to go. Get it back up. That ain't cool. Looks like I skint up my uh, wallpaper job a little bit on that pannier, but I think that's about it. Well, that was a really pretty, uh, that Blue Springs really pretty spot there. Uh, I was able to get the drone up there on the current river. I went upstream a little ways and uh, where there wasn't any people and got the drone up and flew it up and down the river. So that all worked out real good. I ended up dropping the, uh, the Mighty Tiger took a spill there in the uh, driveway as I was turning around. <laughs> Had it in second gear and didn't realize it. Got about halfway through my U-turn and uh, stalled it and fell over. So that was real smooth. Take the bad with the good, I suppose. Uh, I got some nice video. <laughs> Me laying in the parking lot and the whole world laying sideways, but... Oh yeah, I got her in granny now. Folks, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and checking out uh, the current river and a couple of springs, a little spring in a creek there at uh, Powder Mill, the campground on the current river, and then on over here to Blue Spring on the current river. That's a really pretty spot. Took a ride in the woods, got to drop the bike in the driveway. All in all, a great day. I invite you to come back and see me. Till I catch up with you again next time, y'all take care of yourselves. We'll catch you later.